Hello, horses, and Cosmox fans of Earth and Beyond. Where in the heck is my logo? Hello? Where did it go? Hold on. This is going to bother me until I find it. I must have. I must have slapped it in this chair. This thing might have exceeded. Uh, no, I don't know. Guess. Hello. Good, we're good. Anyway, hello, horses and creatures of Earth and beyond. This is Phantom Base coming at you with probably the last time you'll ever see me do this particular time, type of team prep. And the only reason I say that is because I want to make it a little bit more, um, I guess, emulated. I like showing you guys how I prepped. Anyway, we are going up against the Colorado Man Swan a rematch. Uh, coach, and this is coached by Neon Zero. Sapofini, Delmice, Tolzion, Gudra, Shader Lord, Lucario, Ampipom, Weezing, Bisharp, Espeon, and Aggron. I am bringing this particular team, and you'll see, we will explain to you why in a second. Okay, first off, I'm going to try to explain to you what the process is I went through this. So first off, I'm like, alright, I need, I looked at the team and I was like, alright, what do I need? I need a switch in for just about everything. Um, I need a good switch in to Sapofini. Check it, prevent it from setting up. I need a good switch into the ghosts. I need a good switch into his steel types. I need a good switch into Jolteon, Espeon, Bishar, Gulon. And I need a way to deal with the Weezing. So, uh, particularly his big threats to my particular, not really my particular team, but my team as a whole. Gudra is the thing that scares me. Gudra and Chandelure are the things that scare me the absolute most. Lugario is a little bit threatening. But I think with a little bit of prior damage, we can take care of it. Um, and you, you'll see why in a little bit. Um, Weezing is going to be annoying more than anything, but I don't think it's going to cause me problems. Um, once again, you'll see why in a second. Um, Bisharp is not as scary as it used to be because my team is so different. Granted, my team is kind of heavily. I say my team is heavily weak to it. It's really not, like, especially with the makeup of it I have right now. Um, Espeon's just gonna be known for bouncing my hazards back, but if I get my hazards up, he's gonna have to either wrap his building with dumb lies, which I can sit in front of it with a uh, muzzle and bear like all day long, or he's gonna have to defog, defog both of our hazards away with his team feet, which he doesn't want to do. So, that being said, let's get into the team that I have prepared for new horses today. Uh, we are first on bringing it. Salt this up. This is such a weird set that I love it. Um, Shadow Buffs, Arcane and Horror Sphere, and Full Switch. Max HP, Max Defense, Bold, Forward, Spit Death. Because why not have a little bit extra to go with the Assault Bliss, you know? Um, and the reason we're doing this is because this is our Ambipom Switch, and we noticed in the last battle that his Life Orb Ambipom did max, um, like, did like max like 52 percent with fire punch and that was with max hp max special attack with no defense investment so i thought what if we went max out speed or max out speed, defense max out hp we could easily live that kill it off on a horse sphere or floor cannon or something of that nature or just get some initiative with the full switch and we can go into it. our next mod i mean it's, it's pretty much this mod is going to be essentially a physical wall a pivot it's, it's We actually had to. <laughs> this thing is actually just our all around wall. It walls everything because the assault best does essentially what the max defense does with Magirna. It just boosts it up to about even there. Maybe a little bit more. It's gonna be actually it's gonna be a little bit like 200 with the 
assault vest. I haven't actually gotten it up, but I think we'll see if it's up soon. 68. Um, so yeah, 68, that's going to be about 204. Yeah. That's like base 134, essentially, special defense at that point. That kind of sounds right, I guess. Oh, that's with this uninvested, by the way. <laughs> so, this is 134, maxed out. Um, anyway, we're getting off topic. This thing is in front of almost everything on the scene. Um, we're actually, congratulating it. It is now using great. We can close out of this for now. So, um, this thing literally just sits in front of everything on his team. Um, the fire blast from Weezy doesn't do jack to me. Um, the car here can't be either special or physical against me because I'm just going to sit there and deal with it and the horse fear will kill it. Um, Shadow Ball is for the Delman. Oh, I think I have that over. Um, Shadow Ball is for the Delmines and the Shooting Delmore because I want to make sure that I can hit that. Fluor Cannon is just a nuke. It's just straight up nuke. And if we can kill off the Joel Tail with it, it's just the whole point of my gear is to switch in on things. Just for some extra damage, we need as much damage on this team as possible. So we have a new kill gear now. With, even without special attack, it's, it's so much damage. It's, it's insane. Our next Pokemon, I was like, you know what? We need to go and build our defensive groups. We have things that can switch into things. So, our switch in. This is Auto. A very odd Auto, but an Auto indeed. Left the Rooster Generator so we can make sure. This is our Cleric. We needed a Cleric this week because he's got a lot of mods that can status as Chandelure, can will with Gudra, anything on the scene really can toxic. We can set up toxic spikes. Uh, Bisharp is a stealth rocker, as well as Agron. Um, I don't see any stealth rocks on his Bisharp because that would waste some coverage that you might need or some priority. Um, that's literally the only uh, hazard center she's got, by the way. Um, this thing switches in very, very easily on his what I really did I really need it for that? Why do I need a physical defensive? I may actually have to change that. Um, oh no, it's just switching with Delt Wise. But no, this is actually a miss my friend. I want to be careful with it. That way we can actually still take it from both sides. Now we have a decent switch in into the shame or at least a pivot out of it. So I can take any hits on either side, click on which, go out to something else, and I can take a hit or something like that. Um, knock off is for the ghosts. This is our switch into the ghost, and we can knock it off, get rid of items, do decent damage. I mean, base 60 attack isn't fantastic or anything, but it's, you know, not hindered by a minus nature. So, knock off, doing a low kick. You see what they're attacking, who we have here, because it bodies. It hits Bisharp, Ambipump, and Lucario really hard. As well, and Agron. Like, all of his heavy mods don't want to deal with the low kick, even from the auto note. That's the main reason why I'm packing it. So, and then obviously wishing Heal Will. Heal Will is a Toxic Spike still even a problem. Um, and actually, Toxic Spikes won't be a problem with Nihilego here. So, he, that's one less hazard he can really bring. He can only really bring rocks, and my team is not weak to rocks by any stretch of the imagination. First thing we've got is bonds are here, which I'll explain Now, our last defensive mod, and I say defensive, very, once again, very loosely. We are uh, bringing a bio back. Once again, us and the best, we are max. We are 228 HP, 252 speed death. We are sassy nature now. We are the universe in attack. Because, and the reason I'm doing any attack is because for special attack, we're going to clean acid spray first. This is our check to double feeding, and it cannot do hardly anything. Especially this assault vest. Um, acid spray is that uh, we can prevent it from setting up with calm mines and we can force them to have to switch out. If we set up a calm mine, we can set an acid spray up. Perfect. Um, U turn is so that we can switch out on the Jolteon. We didn't want to bring a bolt switch because we didn't want to be stuck in a scenario of healing up Jolteon. We needed it weakened. Um, Dream Punch is for Lucario and Bisharp and Ambipong and Agron because we needed a way to hit those Pokemon with something other than, you know, Thunderbolt. Because Thunderbolt isn't going to be doing, it's going to be doing a reducing amount, but it won't be, I'll be going to be sure you KOing them. So, Lucario Dream Punch, I'll 
also for some reliable recovery outside of getting wished past. That is essentially our switch ins, like things we have for his team, which they go with his own team. Gudra can't do Jack Squad to electrons, we can sit there and ask his brain to death. In the future, I think God into a new Nicholas. We could go up into Tuscan Raider, which I would like to say, but first we're gonna go into my office. Then here they go. Everything else on his team that outspeeds us will outspeed us anyway. Um, we're not gonna run Scarf because I don't see a reason for it. He's got three steel types on his team. No reason at all. That's why we're packing HP fighting. Because we outspeed all the steel types. And I was essentially I was initially gonna run substitute on this thing for the fish orb. But looking at my new team, I don't really see him packing fish orb. If he does, he will have to pick one of two moves. He'll have to go for either Sucker Punch or for Pursuit. Pursuit won't kill us. Iron Hip won't even kill us. Knock off kills. But, um, ironically, not knock off kills us. But, um, Sucker Punch, we, we have Stealth Rock for it. We're gonna set up rocks. We all wanna set up rocks with this thing early. And if I think he's gonna leave with the Amy Palma, I'm actually gonna leave with my gear enough because I can pull switch out. Or click or sphere or something crazy. I have Shadow Ball for the ghost. Because it is easy switching for him. Now granted I also have other decent switches to the ghost, particularly um, Abaya and John Wonder. But this thing is to absorb toxic spikes that could come in as well. To this thing is our late game cleanup, essentially. This thing is essentially our late game cleanup. Late game cleanup. Late game cleanup. English is not a language for me today. Because it has the right covers to hit every single one of his mods, either super effectively or really close. HP fighting is super effective against the Lucario, the Ambipomp, the Fish Heart, the Agron. Power Gem is the Chandelure, and that's pretty much a pretty stab when we can spam it. Um, Sludge Wave is Top of Feeding, which is something I really, 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 really desperately wanted. Um, I needed some way to nuke Top of Feeding. With sludge wave with this thing. If it's around and weakened, we will kill it every time. So, I, I need prior damage on the person, obviously. Now, some of that prior damage may come from Mamoswan, who is. <sighs> the Tuscan Raider is back, and we are here with a choice band, Big Fat Mamoswan, with Icicle Crash, Earthquake, Ice Shark, and Knock Off. We are running a Jolly Max Speed set to outs. to. I want to speed die with the max speed cooker. I don't see the radio max speed cooker. There's no point in radio max speed cooker. But I thought if he was going to bring it, I would be able to speed die. I was going to speed die with the max speed shooter and kill it with earthquake. And that's essentially it. We bring icicle crash for the Delmize for the literally everything. Like everything icicle crash does not. Icicle crash actually does a whole heck of a lot of weeding. Earthquake hits. Everything his name is not Weezen. Outside Dome Eyes, that's what Knock Off and Nice Short Nice Go Crash were for. Um, yeah. And Knock Off is for things. If I predict a switch in to something like, say, I don't, I don't really know, but if he goes into something like that, even Dr. Feeney, I can at least knock off leftovers or something else that's got on it. If he's crazy enough to go into Espeon, I'll click like Knock Off and kill it essentially. Unless he's cold. Um, 
we can predict a switch into, say, Bisharp, or, I mean, literally anything like that. Dare I predict and try to outspeed? I can't outspeed Max Speed Channel, or, or No Speed Channel, or also can't outspeed a No Speed Bisharp. He won't be able to jolly on both, or be jolly on Bisharp, though. He'll probably be modest, or timid, or chandelier. So really, no reason for trying for that. But, I want Rocket, or Suck when you click the football switch around freely with Tulsi on knowing that I've got this thing and knowing also that I've got a Tusken Raider back here now. My switch into Tulsi on, although every time it's going to be Electros and I can pivot from there. But this thing, this, these two mods are living in the For example, we can, I think we can come close to a KO down the feet of the chat. That's how ridiculous this one is. And with this investment, I don't think we got to serve. This is called. 85 special attack, or 95 or something like that, it's not very high. We have base 80 defense, or spit F, and we've got good HP and good spit F investment. So, I actually didn't run a calc for this one, but I, I did this, I've done this spread so many times, like just in practice, so. Um, yeah, I, I think that outside of this, like, this, this set just hits his team so hard. Low kick is going to hit the car. Low kick hits Agron and Amy Bomb, which is what I needed. Shadow Bone is actually sent to Flare Blitz and Worship. And Flare Blitz is Bob's wheezing, even if it's physically defensive. We can click Flare Blitz and then hit it again with another Flare Blitz. And I think we kill it. Don't mind Stice the Shadow Bone. More Flare Blitz and Shadow Bone dies to Shadow Bone. Honestly, this thing has been double break, but it's not meant to be the end of the world if it dies. Like, my, my late game cleanup, late game cleanup is between the Lego, Electros, and Mega Man. Honestly, I think we'll do fine with the team that we've got. So, I know you guys don't hear any background music, and you probably won't anymore because we're going to be editing in the music at the end. So, with that, I'm going to get the heck out of here, and I'm going to go tell Eric it's time to battle. Thank you guys so much for Oh, I need to gym my team too. Uh, I mean, breed my team. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you guys in the battle. Bye, guys.